Hey everybody, we're here in the Crypt Museum, getting some help adding a new addition here. Thank you, sir. Have a good day. Find help where you can. This little number is going to be right at home, here alongside other fine waxwork, such as the uh, Union soldier here. Uh, this came straight from the Neander Valley in Germany. It looks like it's going to require some assembly. Uh, it's here in this little box. I don't know. I'm still going to have to put it together, I think. Um, oh, that seems kind of lively. Oh, man. Let's see. What is... What secrets does the box hold? Ah! Oh my gosh! Oh ah! god! Oh! A surprise caveman! This reminds me of the 1962 film. Yeah. Ega! Ah. Oh. oh my god! Ah! I've gotta take evasive action! I thought I was supposed to meet you up at the club. Well, you still are. I just bought myself a new swimming suit tonight. Oh? Yes. See? That? <laughs> well, I got off work in ten minutes. Follow me out then. Follow you? Listen, I can change clothes and beat you out there. <laughs> That's my girl. Her father's Robert I. Miller. Writes all those adventure books. You ought to see her swim. Hey! Gee, I sure am sorry, sir. I guess I was thinking about having dinner with my girl. She lives up at the club.
Misha. Noah. And anyone to, did you, Miss Millet? Why not? It's the truth. Honey, a uh, prehistoric monster is a rather large order to swallow. Dad, I didn't say he was a monster. He was a giant. You know, a caveman. Club and all, eh? Yes. What my daughter saw, she saw. Now, let's just let it go at that. Okay. But if you see her giant again, let me know in time to take some pictures. She will. <laughs> Dad, you don't believe me either. Roxy, of course I believe you. I believe you saw something. Well, I saw a giant, a prehistoric giant. How about it, Tom? What'd you see? Like I told you, Mr. Miller, I wasn't there until afterwards. Tommy Nelson, I know what I saw. Sure, Roxy, but I mean giants. There were giants. The Bible says so. Yes, it does. In, in the book of Genesis. Something about in those days, giants walked the earth. Well, then. Maybe we can get some flashlights and go out and take a look for ourselves. Huh? No, this thing can wait until morning. Now, you kids go and take your swim before the pool closes. In the morning now. It's a promise. Dad still doesn't believe me. Sure he does. And neither do you. I swear on my Elvis Presley LP. How big did you say he was? Oh, bigger than anybody you ever saw. I bet you were scared, huh? A little. But I had the funniest feeling he wouldn't hurt me. Yeah? In fact, I thought it was kind of cute. Oh. Mm. Can you imagine the whole thing? No. Well, 
let's be realistic about this. You said yourself that you think. Isn't it possible that you dreamed this whole idea? No, Dad, I didn't. There was a dying. Now, I don't want to call this story of yours a lot of foolishness, and I haven't so far, have I? No. But if there were a giant, if anyone at all Mr. had Miller, been here... Mr. Miller, come here. What'd you find? I don't know. It sure looks like a footprint, though. Well, let me see. Yes, yeah, look. There's the heel, and there's the toe. Look at the size of that. Must have been made by a, a, Say it. A giant. What did I tell you? Mm. And that's for finding it. Well, I'll find the big boy himself for if you feel like that. He left the road right here. Watch out for snakes. Ooh. Better go back to the car. No. He's my giant. Johnny was standing right here watching us. And then he turned and took off her. Shadow Mountain. Do you suppose that's where he lives? It's possible. That would account for his never having been seen before. It's too bad we didn't bring the doom buggy. We'd go after him. What for? I can get some pictures. Maybe even to bring him back. A lot of people aren't going to believe this giant jazz. No, we're not sending about this, you understand? Why not? After the way everyone laughed at me. Your turn will come. I'm going up on Shadow Mountain with a camera. Are you going to write a book about the giant, Mr. Miller? That's the idea, Tom. I'll take you up there. My doom buggy's all ready to go. No, thanks. It is. I just gave it the works. There's no offense, son. But I'd like to take this trip in something a little bit safer. Credit cards are in the desk drawer. You make sure you leave them there. This thing's supposed to be safer than my dune buggy? All right, Kruger, let's go. Now don't you forget, I want you to meet me at the mouth of Deep Canyon tomorrow at 4.
times. Why? Don't worry, Mr. Kruger. I'll take care of it. Yes. Thanks for calling. Goodbye. What's up? That was Mr. Kruger from the airport. The helicopter blew a gasket or something. He won't be able to pick Dad up. At Deep Canyon? Yes. No problem. We'll get the dune buggy and we'll whiz right out there. coming on a bus, you know. He can't expect him to be right on the dot. I know, but he should have made it for dark. Don't worry about it. He'll see the campfire and come walking in on us any minute now. That's what you said two hours ago. Well, he will. Well, if you believe that, what's the idea of the bedrolls? Look, I carry all this junk in the buggy anyway, so you might as well get some use out I'm of it. I'm not sleepy. Lie down, take a rest for a while. I'll keep the fire going. Hey, what are you doing with that? I always carry a gun in the desert. There's coyotes around a camp. Put it away. We're not playing cowboy. You know, there's mountain lions around here, too. Well, they won't come near a fire. I know that much. And I'm not going to have you take a shot at something that turns out to be dead. Okay, okay. I'll put it away in one condition. That you crawl in and get some rest. Okay.
Dad found the giant, or the giant found him? Nah. Giant probably is way up in the mountain. Your dad wasn't going that far. I guess not. Oh, it's my transistor. Something's wrong with it. No kidding. Yeah, sometimes a bump starts it off and you gotta... Hit it again to stop it. Must have bumped it again. You must have. Hey, have you been at this? We were saving for Dad. What? The stew. I didn't touch it. Well, I sure didn't. And look at. Listen, if he comes back for that club, we don't want to be anywhere around here. Sure it is. Well, I borrowed it enough. Look at the way it's smashed. Well, he could have dropped it. Well, then why didn't he pick it up? Well, it's broken. It's no good to him. Oh, well, it's also insured. Let's not kid ourselves. Well, let's not jump to conclusions either. Come on, let's try that next ravine. Thank <laughs> you. 
I don't know. Well, I'll climb up there, ways and see if the buggy can get through. No, you better stay here. No. There's no use in both of us going. We got to come back for the buggy anyway. Well, then we'll come back. I'm not going to sit here doing nothing. Oh, women. Look, you stay here with the buggy. Nope. And drive it up to meet me when I give you the signal. That'll save us both a trip. Come on. Well, okay. Ah, the gun. Toss it. Give me a blast in that horn if you see anything. Don't worry about that.
Oh, wow. You seem to be creating a masterpiece over here. What are you, what are you making, sir? <coughs> it's a cave painting. Um, we've got this beast here. Uh, we've got these uh, brave warriors, these happy little trees. It's really a reflection on my prehistoric times. Wow. You know, I took for granted that you would be some hostile, savage beast. That's the bias of my time. But, you know, I looked beyond the stereotypical portrayal presented in 1962's Ega, and I see that maybe the past has a lot to offer the present. Would you agree? I would. You might have your computers and your fire, but we have plenty to be taught. Oh, let me... Let me partake there. There we are. I'll try to. I won't compromise your artistic integrity. Uh, if I had a, a happy little son, maybe. Oh yeah. I'm getting in touch with my my primal self. And as I turn you back to the film. Historically inaccurate as it may be, I hope you do the same. Any words of wisdom for the people of the present? Get in touch with your artistic self. Take it easy. He won't hurt you. He hurts you? No, I 
did that myself when I fell on the camera. Dad, I think you better break this up before I scream. Tell him you're hungry. I'm not. Well, think of the alternative. I'm hungry. Mm -hmm. Yes, hungry. That's the word he says most of the time. Ega. Oh, Dad, no. That's all I need now is a good drink of milk. Ooh, I don't see how anybody could drink that horrible stuff. I guess it can't hurt me. Uh, make it last as 
long as you can. She won't hurt you if you're doing something. A prehistoric gentleman, huh? <laughs> Thank you. Well, here's to you. Ugh. This water doesn't make you strong. You have to be strong to drink in the first place. No, no, I, I'm still thirsty. <laughs> Thank you. What is it? Believe it or not, Dad, I'm going to look at his etching. Oh, this is nice. No, no, no. This is nice. Let's see what you mean. And it's not so bad, as a matter of fact. A little bitter. But it seems to have a certain quality that's good for you. And I wouldn't be a bit surprised if the sulfur in these walls isn't what's kept these giants alive all these years. You mean these giants have always been here? Where have you seen those before? In that cave in France. Exactly. Sure. Same style, same everything. Definitely prehistoric. Yes, I'd say that he and his tribe have always been here. Are there others? No, he's the last one. How can you be sure? I took a good look at his family. From the condition of the shrouds, I'd say the last one died 50 or 100 years ago. How old does that make him? Oh, I wouldn't even mm -hmm. guess.
Roxy. Roxy. <gasps> You dare. Go see if the rock's in place. He's gone. Now's our chance. It's there. What are we oh. going to do? What can Please. I do? Help me back. I gotta sit down. No, no. Don't touch it. It's got to be tied up with something, doesn't it? There's some aspirin in my beer bag. I don't see it. He brought it here. Must be around someplace. Keep looking. You probably hid it somewhere. Oh, here it is. The aspirin's in that small pocket. <coughs> Give me two. Drink a lot of water. It'll give you strength. It won't knit bones, honey. It's got to be tied up with something, doesn't it? No, it feels pretty good now. Liar. That's no way to talk to your father. The trouble with you is I spoiled you. You sure did. <laughs> what can I do? Nothing. I'll just sit here. How about if I washed your face? Or gave you a shave? It'll make you feel better. You've got all your junk here. Okay. Shut the door. Well, 
that doesn't say much for my sex appeal. Yes. <laughs> Now I suppose he wants a shave. Good, give it to him. Anything to be the customer. Try these. him with that shaving bone. a better job of shaving him, Roxy. There's no way of telling how old that fellow is. Huh. Yeah. 
I think we're coming together here now. Past is meeting present. Horizons are broadening. And what have you prepared for us here, sir? What is your name, by the way? Uh, Grog. Grog Ogson. Grog Ogson. You know, I've got a friend with a very similar name, but uh, that, that'll make it easy to remember. Anyway, this is a hunter-gatherer's diet. Um, back in my prehistoric times, we had wild barbecue chickens roaming the land. Uh, so I've brought some of that for today. Um, I've also brought these blueberries. Um, it's very regional, but it's uh, the food of my people. And we've got this uh, selection of nuts as well uh, that I've hunted and gathered, Ooh. more the gathering. I've heard a little bit about this. Things that are, were available in the prehistoric world, right? Yes. All right, so berries, nuts, things you can hunt, things that you can gather, but 100% nothing that you can plant. This is pre-agricultural revolution. We don't go in for any of that hippy-dippy nonsense. We're, we're old school. And we're going to give it a try here now. So let's dig in. Offer it up to you first as the, as the host. Oh, I'm just going to dig in here. I'm going to grab, grab some meat, just a big old piece of meat. I dig into that. There we go. Mm. Mm. Join me. 
nice. The show, the folks at home, as we embrace our primal nature. You may not like it. This is what peak male performance looks like. How is it treating you? Brings me back to home. Nice. I'm certainly feeling primeval, primordial. Feel my natural healthful state being restored as I enjoy these fresh berries of the land. So maybe not 100% period accurate barbecue sauce and some Peanuts and tree nuts. Watch out if you're allergic. And now back to the film. He's okay. He's waiting for us. Thank you. 
dead end. Oh, God. Oh, God. 
Well, Roxy. Thank you. I'll only be a minute. Is something wrong, Mr. Miller? We're just talking about our little adventure. Oh, I see. You do? Well, sure. A girl like Roxy don't get over a thing like that right away. Doesn't. That's what I say. She's got to get her mind off it. And this hop tonight will help. Hop? Huh? Yeah, my combo's going to be there. Man, they swing. So I understand. I'm ready. Well, let's split then. Uh, Mr. Miller, I got my dad's wheels tonight. Really? Do they fit on your car? <laughs> You're funny, Mr. Miller. Real funny. Girl.
gonna get you. Knock it off. She's my girl. I'm gonna smash. So what have you got for us here now? Well, us cave people invented, you know, rock and roll. So this is a uh, xylophone. It's very authentic. Would you like to play a song oh, with Oh, certainly. It? Got these black ones to match your All right, thing. that's pretty stylish. That matches and these your, ones match me? Yeah, your rustic hair. Yeah. All right, so uh, let's give this classic tune a try. It'll sound just like banging on some bones in the true, authentic, prehistoric style. Three, two, one. <laughs> Beautiful. I think that was a little bit of perfection, a little slice of heaven, and I believe that we have just delivered a cheerful experience for you at home. Certainly, rarely for once, today's events have played out much more favorably than the ones depicted in the film. I have made friends, I would say, with this uh, prehistoric personage. Would you agree, sir? I would. All right. And that's not quite what the Earthlings uh, in the film did when they encountered Iga. Uh, but here's wishing you and yours, uh, your family, your friends from all eras, a uh, very fortunate, happy-go-lucky day from here in Count Gauntly's crypt. And as always, I say, pleasant nightmares. <laughs> Bye, guys.
Hey man, get in the shot with me. <laughs>